and Burnett has almost done that to Conte tonight but he hasn't quite achieved it and there are signs now that he's not going to achieve it beginning to work better certainly made a good recovery look for a moment as though he'd never find the use of his legs again Burnett has stopped throwing the hooks. He was hooking with both the left and the right at the start of this, and it was the hook with the left that did the trouble, even though it was very high up on the head. It's not the first time that Conte has been down at the start of a fight. Two men have put him down, Tom Dodds and Bill Grover, before this. But he recovered on both occasions and won. Looks as though we might get something similar tonight. best round so far. In fact, Conte's only round so far. Scheduled for 10. You'll need every one of them. Well, if Burnett runs through to form, he could run out of steam later. Conte Corner must be praying for that. Finding him easy to hit. Of this fight, heating up now. 
Conte looking very red in the face. He's been caught again and again by the left hand of Bernard. And more and more it looks as though Conte needs a few rounds to get the six months in activity out of his bones. Mind you, we did say at the start that he is a slow starter. He's been known before. But tonight he was so slow he came to a standstill. punch now looking for the first time like a world championship contender seeing the punches coming now encountering well snapping him out fast and Burnett is looking distinctly discouraged for a man who had this fight at his mercy he's not been very impressive Everybody here sensing now that Conti is getting on top. <laughs> Burnett looking very weary as he goes back to the corner with half this fight gone. Loser of four out of his last fight since he had that um, fight against Miguel Quello in Monte Carlo in 77. He's met with four defeats. Quello was the first man ever to stop him. But uh, I saw him, as I told you, I saw him stopped by Eddie Gregory in Las Vegas about 15 months ago. Stopped in the 10th and final round when he looked to have the, uh, the match won in the early stages. And something very much like that could happen here tonight. Manager is Jesse Reed, former fighter himself. Married man Burnett with a wife and a son and daughter. Timekeeper to give the bell a good rap. Can't hear it. That bell saved Conte from defeat tonight. Looking at the right hand of Conte and wondering when he's really going to let it snap out. That's the one he has all the trouble with. Had it broken a couple of times, he's had an operation on it. Bruised it again in that car accident in November. Haven't seen much of it tonight. All left hand. specials again and Conti felt that but the legs have held him up this time makes you wonder why he didn't do that when he had Conti in trouble on southpaw now the net I didn't know he was a man who switched but here we are a bit fed up with Conte's left hand coming into his face. And now he goes back to the orthodox style. A little bit of gamesmanship going on between them. I think Conte's got too much time for gamesmanship. We've got a bit of work to do.
Burnett beginning to act a little bit. Don't know what he's complaining about to Harry Gibbs, but he's annoyed about something. Harry Gibbs again asking for the bell to be sounded loudly, and Burnett clearly is complaining that he's been hit after the bell at some time. Can't say I noticed it. Well, 